Hello, this is Pat Walker at Mission Winners, and I'm doing a video, a training coaching video for everybody. My background, I taught on the university level years ago, I taught primarily advanced level classes. One of my finals was 24 pages typed. I loved, loved teaching. I wasn't a jerk about it, but I had very high expectations and have a passion and have for all my life of helping people. And that's part of the reason why we started Mission Winners, is to help people. I know what it's like. I started this in 1985-86, and I know what it's like to be just kind of floundering through trying to figure this stuff out. Like, how the heck do I do? What do I do? You know, I was there for the crash of 87 and everything else, and really started to realize, i got to get serious about this and figure this out. And I'll tell you, a book that really helped me was How to Make Money in Stocks by Bill O'Neill. I would encourage you to read that book. I, I encourage you to study that book. There's a tremendous amount of information in there that will help you. It will help you if you study it. I don't trade. I don't day trade. I don't look at five and ten minute charts. I'm just very, very simple trend investor. Let them work for as long as humanly possible. But I want to share something with you, and I think it's important. A lot of people really get hung up on five-minute charts and 10-minute charts, as I said, 30-minute charts, hourly charts. You can look at the 30 and the hourly, but the bigger trend is not in a 30-minute or an hourly chart. The bigger trend is in a daily chart and, and in a weekly chart. So we need to look at those. Our goal is not to try to make 25 or 30 cents out of a stock. Our goal is to make as many points as possible. And by looking at short time frames, you'll get shaken out of stocks. And I know that. I was my biggest enemy when it came to investing. True confession. It used to irritate the living daylights out of me to buy a stock, and then I'd look at the five-minute chart, and the thing's starting to drop. I'd say, oh, boy, I better sell it. This is it. It's over. i got to get out. And i sell and maybe make a gain, you know, sell it out for a couple of points. And, oh, boy, that was freaking great. And the stock would stabilize and start to go up. And I would never be able to find a spot to get back into it. And I would watch it go up for days, for weeks, months maybe. And i never get in. Never could find a spot. That drove me crazy. Probably some of you have experienced the same thing. So what can we do? Well, this is what we do at Mission Winners. We teach. We coach. We give ideas. Every night we give ideas with a key list that we send out to our members with buys. Okay? A list of stocks that if they trigger this price and volume comes into it, we're buying. That's it. So you can say, well, Pat, can you kind of coach me through this just a little bit? And I said, yes, we will. Hold on a second. I'm going to close my door. Here we go. So we're taking a look right now at Tesla. Tesla Weekly and Tesla Daily. Weekly on the left. It says weekly right there. Daily on the right. And I encourage you, color code your price and volume bars. For me, it's simple. Green is up. Red is down. And it's also very important to note the characteristics of the price and volume bars. I'll give you an example on the weekly. That's a good bar. Look at the volume. Oh, you go, there's a red bar. Oh, that's bad. But look at, in contrast, everything is relative, okay? Up on heavy volume, down on less volume. Went up on less volume, went up on less volume, fell on a pickup in volume. See this? Fell on less volume. Went up on a slight pickup in volume. But there's something else that's really important. When you're looking at charts, look at the bigger picture chart formation. Is there some kind of a formation there? And if you look here, if you just connect all this, okay, from here down to here and over, what do you have? It is like a deep cup with a handle. Looks different on a log scale. It actually looks better on a log scale. But this works. You can see it. 
you can see the cup right here and a little handle. And what's really important is this, and I'll draw this for you. On the handle, volume drops off. There's also something else though that's really telling. Right here, this bar, it started to go up on a slight pickup in volume. It found support. So here's your great big cup and handle. This is the weekly. Here is the daily. And what catches your eye here? You see the date here? 335.89, that's where it closed? Right here, that's the day chart. 335.89. So now here's the cup and a handle. Here it is on a day chart with a little handle. What do you notice? And it should be really simple. It started to pick up right here on a pickup in volume. And it had a small shelf. And I'll draw it for you. Right there. And we said to ourselves, and this is what we told our VIP members on the video, if price takes out the tops right here with volume, we will buy some. So let's advance it a day. And it starts to pick up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete this line again so you can see it. There we go. And it starts to pick up going across these tops on a pickup in volume. That's exactly what we're looking for. So advance it. Starts to go up. Volume's a little less. Price is lifting. Starts to go up. Volume drops off, but price is lifted away from our price, from our entry. We're in great shape. We're in it right here. And yeah, we own it. We still own it. Advance it. Right here, closes. And it's lifting up. Pulls back, but notice, folks, it goes up on decent volume and it pulls back on less volume. Here's the weekly. Right here, 358.39. 358.39. And look, it's taken out the top of that handle right here. This big cup and a handle. Here's the lip, and it took it out even on the weekly on a pickup in volume. So let's advance it. Up. Is that sweet? That was a day to buy more. And it does this. And here's the weekly. Take this back, there we go. 405.59, 405.59. Great big cup and a handle. Triggers on the weekly, triggers on the daily. Confirmation with volume, price X good and it's trending. Now you could say, boy, Pat, that's a great gain, man. You're up, you know, look at this, man. We go from 355, hey, let's sell it. Let's sell and take the money, all right? We're up 50 points, let's go. Take it, good money. You'll never go broke taking a profit. Folks, I gotta be very honest, that's a lie. That's one of the lies on Wall Street, all right? You can say, Pat, in what respect? If your losses are bigger than your profits, you'll go broke. The goal is this, to buy right. You can sell some into strength, but not all of it. Keep some and let it work as long as humanly possible. Who knows where it's going to go? So let's continue on with our study. Advance it. Nice, 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 nice. And here's the weekly. 430.38, 430.38. Nice. Just trending on up. Could you sell a little in the strength? Sure. Did we? Yes. Yes, we did. Let's advance it. Pulls back to the eight, starts to go again. Advance this, 451. Make sure I get the right date here. There we go. Oh, nope, the date doesn't line up with the price. It's close. You get the gist though, what it's doing here. It's acting fine. It's acting fine. Advance it. Right there. Here's where we are today. Today is January 7th. January 7th. The point is this. It lifted off here and we bought it. The reason why? 
took out the bottom, this top primary edge of the cup. We bought more, taking out the weekly high. Volume confirmed it, and it's marching on up. You can say, well, gosh, that's pretty good. Folks, we own this for a little over 338. It's 469. That's 131 points. 131 points in, what do we got? One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll just call it four weeks. 131 points in four weeks? Is this the top? I don't know. I don't need to know. Price will tell me. But in the meantime, we ride trends. This is the eight period exponential moving average. Ed Sakota uses the five. A lot of people use the 10. We use a hybrid with the eight period EMA. There's a long story behind that that goes way beyond the length that I could do on this video with the eight EMA. But it's, it's, pretty, it's a pretty amazing study with um, statistical analysis that is almost shocking to say the least with derivations of moving averages, moving averages lengths. So anyway, bottom line is this, baby's trending for us, we're in it. How long is it gonna go? I don't know the future, do you? All I know is this, I can ride a trend as long as she keeps going. And, you know, if finally that trend will stop and we'll sell it. But in the meantime, right now we're up 130, 130 points. I wanted to share that with you. My goal is this, it's not just to give ideas, it's to educate on how to do it. There's a great quote, be the person you needed when you were a child. Same thing's true here. I know what it's like to get frustrated. My goal is to speed up the learning curve and help people, help people while we can. Anyway, it's Pat Walker at Mission Winners, and I hope this helps you, and I thank you.